All right, this is Big Dog Sporting over here, and today we're going to show you guys something. Um, we've gotten some feedback from some of our customers um, that's running our Stage 2 ported GT40 iron cylinder heads, and they're reporting back great uh, results, great horsepower and torque improvements, and you know they're 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 asking us. How are you guys, you know, getting this kind of performance out of these heads when others, you know, whether it be other porters or other individuals that um, are doing some home porting on these heads, why they aren't seeing um, similar gains and, and results? And it's because, you know, uh, some of the reasons is because we do more than what typically customers expect on the cylinder heads um, and any heads that we port um, we do a lot more than just port you know a lot of times people think well I can just port or because this individual has ported these cylinder heads this is pretty much all the results that we're going to be able to get based off of their experiences or others and this is not true all port work isn't the same all services isn't the same um, all companies and porters aren't the same and one of the things that we do here at big dogs porting is we pride ourselves on results you know um, that's the number one thing that we're concerned with is results uh, sometimes it may take us a little longer than expected but we can guarantee you the results are going to be there because we go the extra mile. So um, one of the things that we tell the customers that you have to do, you have to make sure, you have to make sure not only the, does the parts flow well throughout the lift range um, as far as cylinder heads, but also that your drive, your, 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 your valve train is set up properly. Your springs, uh, spring pressure, um, valve seat angles is set up properly for the application and a lot of people they buy heads whether it be you know uh, factory remanufactured heads or aftermarket heads and they don't and I, I get it you know you guys are not you're not in this industry you guys don't have the capabilities and tools most of the time but I want you guys to understand these parts whether it be from the factory or aftermarket they have to be properly set up in order to maximize their performance. And 80% of the time, we do a lot of porting. We do a lot of porting. We do a lot of cylinder heads, a lot of intake manifolds. We see a lot throughout the industry, whether it's Ford, you know, Chevy, LS, Mopar, um, even, you know, imports, BMW, um, Jaguar, Nissan, Mitsubishi. We do a lot of porting, a lot of parts. And we come across pretty much the same thing uh, all the time, um, where you have ported parts or aftermarket parts, and the customers just bolt them on. And they do see an improvement over stock, but you're really not maximizing your potential. And one of the reasons why is because these parts like for instance this is a set of factory aluminum ford ford racing um cylinder heads okay and this is a teardown um this is a teardown um one of the guys was tearing this mount this this son of the head down and of course we've ported these cylinder heads we've probably ported well over 100 of these cylinder heads you know um like i said we do a lot of volume and we see this all the time and you know it's it's unfortunate that other porters don't tell customers this or manufacturers don't set these parts up correctly this these cylinder heads and most cylinder heads that you will get um they are not set up properly and we're going to do a comparison, you know, do a test. Now, this right here is the valve spring that comes 
with this cylinder head. And we're, going, we're doing the exhaust. It's set up at 1.824. Okay, that's the install height. We're going to measure the pressure, weigh that spring, and this right here is a spring that we're replacing it with. Okay, now you can either replace the springs or you can shim the springs up to get the, the proper seat pressure as long as you have enough you know lift before coil bind um, for the camshaft application so we're going to pause it and we're going to set the spring that came with the gt40 here it's aluminum and we're going to test it and then we're going to test this spring and then we're going to weigh both of them so stay tuned so we're back with the factory spring for the aluminum GT40 heads. The install height is 1.824 and the pressure at that install height is 109. As you see, 109 pounds on the seat is not enough. It's not enough. So we're going to pause it and measure the spring that we're going to replace it with. This is the spring that we're replacing it with. It's 122 at the same install height. Now we're going to measure, we're going to weigh both springs to see the difference. Stock spring. which is a dual spring. Hold up. Let's start this over. Pretty much 119. Okay, now we're gonna do spring, we're gonna replace it. By the way, that's a dual spring, it's a single with a damper. 82 right there so there you see this spring once shimmed up we're going to ship it at about 145 150 going to have plenty of valve lift for the application yet still you're going to have a tremendous amount of valve control for higher rpms higher rpms with great flow equals more potential for horsepower versus these springs. Now you can also shim these springs up, but we're not gonna do that. So just letting you guys know, this is what you gotta look out for. So once again, see you guys at the track.